Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, last time that we left off, we went, uh, we got a tip off from Kieran right. about the whereabouts of Conwell Driscoll or the O'Driscoll gang. So we went down to try and track him down. He wasn't there, but we, we took on some of the gang nevertheless. Uh, got a bit of money as well that was hiding in the chimney. Uh, after that, we then went to find um, Reverend Swanson. We'd done the Reverend Swanson mission and uh, found that he was uh, drunk, playing cards or poker or whatever he was playing. And uh, yeah, we rescued him just before he got hit by the train. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're up to in the gameplay so far, guys. If you guys are ready, let's jump back into it. Right, let's go and say hello to a few people. Let's uh, see if the stew is ready. Is that the stew there? Oh, there we go. It's ready. When you grab a bowl of stew, you'll need to wait a few days before being able to grab another. Yeah. Makes sense. Don't want to be a greedy mofo. Uh, right trigger, eat. So that makes you... Yeah, that's it. Get the core up. There we go. We take another. Oh, we've got coffee as well. Didn't see that. Right, okay, that's that. B. Right, let's see who's about and we can say hello if they do. I don't know what mission to do next. Hey, what's up, Dutch? Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. <laughs> you, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. Mm -hmm. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Oh, Dutch! No. Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. <laughs> he was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry, and there's talk of hanging them. Oh, so, Arthur! What? <laughs> he doesn't the like fool him. brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. Mm. He would do it for you. It's down to I us. I don't think he would, but fine, all right, Arthur. <laughs> You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. <laughs> Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. I like the way he just kind of like dies like... Oh, and like it's just always a burden. It's so funny. Right, let's go. Where's the uh, thing? Is it? Was it? There it is. Right. I 
rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side offer. What were you boys doing? Yeah, You're supposed to be yes. scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, oh, you worry too trying. much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He's gonna get him soon. He was half soaked before we even got there. In so much Then trouble. we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. <laughs> it was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. No one just now, has a couple. <laughs> I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time Hell we yeah. was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Who did we beat up? Was his name Tommy? Who we beat up Tommy? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just killed a turkey it's all right, boy. by accident. My bad. Take whatever, whatever. I made more money skinning women than men lately. Strange time. Me too. Easy. Right, let's go get crunk. Oh. Right, let's go are. get drunk. Who is talking? Oh, mate, he's busy in here tonight. <laughs> just one or two, <laughs> right off? Of course, just a drink. No big job. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff. A lot Micah... of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Mm. Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullard! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. That's John. John. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> But me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. <laughs> just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Dude was annoying. Oh. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's great, Lenny, Lenny, where are you? 
Where's he going? Seen that fella I was with? No idea. Hey, you see my friend anywhere? <laughs> Don't ask me. What? Hey, Lenny! <laughs> where is he? Lenny, where are you? Lenny! Lenny? Is he upstairs? Let's go try upstairs. Oh, he's up there. Is. What's he doing up here? You know what? I don't know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 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 Why ain't you never married? It's gone again. <laughs> Lenny, get away from me! Oh man. Lenny! Oh god, crying out loud. Come on, get downstairs. Leave the kid alone, you goddamn animals. Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, that? what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, my word. That's funny. We're in first person mode, though. Right? Oh, can we go back in? Oh! He fell over! <laughs> Dude! Is he on the floor? Oh, <laughs> it's backwards! Where is he? Hello? <laughs> They're all Lenny. Everyone is Lenny. That's jokes. Every single person is Lenny. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so clever. Lenny, where are you hiding now? Where is he? Is he going to be out front? What is going on? Hey, is he upstairs? I'm going to go back upstairs again. We're looking all over for you, Lenny. How many of you had, pal? <laughs> Where's he gone? Damn it, Lenny, stop slumping off on me! I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Lenny! <laughs> Do I look like a Lenny to you? <laughs> Right, where did we go? There you are, Lenny. <laughs> Lenny, go away, you drunk. Oh. Do we just? I swear, he's upstairs. Do we just come? Where 
crazy. Go out back. Oh. Oh, there he is. Been there. I've so been there. What? He's gonna, he's gonna run into the pole. Where is he going? Oh, eggs. <laughs> I pressed eggs. I jumped. He is. He's wrecked. I want to die. Where are we? I'm in prison. What did we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. Yeah. You pair degenerates. Oh. There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> Either you fools got any money. Ten dollars and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my so, God. That was a quiet drink. First one was pretty quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. He needs a oh. coffee is what he needs. Oh. <sighs> that was a mission. What about Michael? We've got to go find Michael. Uh, 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 Right, let's see what we got. Can we eat anything? Oh. That would just do the outer core though. Fully restores stamina. Right, it is gonna restore. Oh, 
Oh, das ist die... Äh <lacht> Where do we go next? That will get it up a little bit. Canned peaches. Oh, I see. There we go. Uh, let's see the other can as well. There we go. He's trying to remember what all these things do. He's... Hello there. Hello there. Oh, my bad. No harm done. Let's go in the general store. I don't know how much money we got. But we need... We haven't got a lot. Um, I knew you'd be back. Have a look around. Let's have a look in the catalog. Some of the fellers who play poker down at Flatneck Station said they had some clergyman in. Drunk out of his mind. Hmm. There's Reverend Swanson. Let me have a look. Let's go provisions. Oh. So that's what selects it. Right. Canned food, fresh food, and dry goods. Look at tobacco. Let's get some canned food. So what does that say? Canned apricots. Slightly restores health core and moderately... You're gonna be on the road a while, that'll suit you. Slightly restores health core and moderately restores stamina core. Oh, that gives you more life on that one. One pound fifty. That's cool. That one's quite a cool one. Let's go buy that. Well, that's done. that danger tomorrow what is that oh miss hardshaw the seamstress passed away don't know who's gonna mend my things now danger inferior dry goods flood into this country these are known as these are these are known to the trade as seconds. Items that are of sub substandard quality have spoiled or been salvaged from an infestation of insects or, verm insects or vermin. The only way you can protect yourself is from buying from Wheeler. Maybe someday I'm going to quit, Valentine. Probably move out west. Most reliable supply house on earth. Back right. Would you look at the color on that? Let's buy some carrots for the horse. 
Thank you. Peaches, good I guarantee life. all that is right from the farm. Cheese wedge. Cooking. Would you look at the color on that? Salted beef. Spending so much time here just looking at what they've got. Being the main store in town, people come to depend on you. Slightly stam slightly damages stamina core. Slightly you like that? Ah. Slightly damages stamina core because he smokes. Uh, uh, slightly restores dead eye core. One or the other. Right, so it drains the stamina one, obviously. Which one have we got? Get some rum. Alcohol is sure to get a campfire chat going. Chewing tobacco, I think we have got. Medicinal supplies are number one when traveling. Hair tonic increases the rate in, at which hair, uh, facial hair grows. Man, the detail in this game is ridiculous. Cocaine gum fully restores stamina. Stack up. Never know what you'll run into. Right. Okay. Let's buy it, why not? It's all yours. F fishing arrows. I sell out of that pretty fast. Let's get some of these. We're just doing some... Right, there we go. Gun oil. I don't even know if we have any of that. Jensen pocket watch. I had an old lady shoplifting here the other day. Can you believe that? Let's get some of that. Appreciate it. Oh, there's still outfits in here as well. Hats, coats, shirts, vest pants. Let's have a look. See what they do. Oh wow! How do we try these on though? Did he? Oh, can I view? Oh yeah, you can view it. Let's go used back. to hack up Citadel Rock all the time when I was younger. Just don't have the energy no more. Whoa! Seem a bit taken with that. He does look cool. I must admit. What else is there? No, I don't like that one. Those go pretty fast. Oh, I still want. Let's 
seem to have your eye on that. I think it looks a bit like um, Alfie from uh, Peaky Blinders. It reminds me of. Oh, how do we got all outfits? That'd be easier. That would have been easier. How do we turn? Can we turn? How much is it though? Saw oh. Morris from the auction yard leaving the hotel again this morning. 85 quid. Guess his wife mm. kicked him out again. No. Not yet. We won't do that. We will we will come back to that and get a new outfit. But not for 85 quid when I don't have a lot of money just yet. I can just buy a, can you just buy the coat? Oh, that's cool. All coats. You like the look of that one, huh? Mm, yeah. That one's kind of cool. Is it a scout or is it says it? Feller was telling me the daughter at Emerald Ranch don't leave the house no more. Been locked in up there for a couple of years now. Right, let's get this jacket. Let's buy that. Mm -hmm. I like that. That'll do. Right. Oh, they've got so many different overshirts as well. Taking a shine to that, huh? Good keep, doing business with you. Keep them a bit fresh, right? Let's go back. Oh, mate, that is that is cool. That's mighty popular these days. I like that combination. Let's get that as well. No key then. Hopefully we'll find some stuff along the way as well. Accessories. Gloves. Right. Right, let's come out. Let's come out. Let's come out. People have been talking about a curse in Valentine as long as I can remember. Some reckon this was Indian land once, but I ain't sure. I'll let you look around some more. Right, it just seems weird that he's got his jacket on now. Come back again. Oh, I could spend too much money in there. Let's see how he looks. Yes, Arthur. Looking very dapper. I like it. Looking good, my friend. Uh, right, let's... Uh, we, we need to find my car. What are you waiting for? Uh, sorry, boy. 
give him a little brush. Yeah, he was getting a little, getting a little bit dirty. Oh, we need to. Uh... How do I? Come on, there we go. Doink. No, put your gun away. There you go. Hello there. Here. My bad. Hey, 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 let's talk about this. Arthur, Arthur, come lend a hand here. Go ahead and call your mama. What happened to his? Take it easy. I got no bagel. <laughs> Should have thought about that earlier. What is going on with his jacket? Oh, that's I annoying. thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old, Master. I'll be at camp if you need me. His uncle. <laughs> What's going on with his uh? Get moving. Oh, what? I can't play it like that. That's ridiculous. I want a refund. Why? Why is it doing that? What is going on with his his jacket is absolutely effed. There's a new gang. We got enough trouble without you feeding the flames again, alright? What is going on with his jacket, man? You ain't right, is you? The general store. Let's go back. I want a refund. We problem here. Is it because it's like a suede? Uh, howdy. What is going on with that jacket? Just get out of my Welcome way. Welcome back, sir. Want to sell? Righty. Let's see what you're selling. I want to sell my clothes back. You gave me some glitchy clothes. Oh, man. Here we go. Let's have a look. All right. Sorry we couldn't help. I do like that outfit though, but it's just the summer gunslinger. Let's go as the summer gunslinger. For now. Or just go gunslinger. Let's go gunslinger.
Forget to buy something? No, no, no. Just could not have that glitching on me. That would do my head in. Thank you for your help. So. Let's go, boy. Well, I should I have a quick look at the map? There's a show. Well, let's just quickly have a look at that before we crack on. You can keep up to date with the latest regional news and events by buying a copy of the new Hanover Gazette here. Stable. Got one horse there. That obviously might have a horse is there. So that's post office. Some micas over there. Let's go and have a look at this show just before we go on. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should have uh, been summoned out. Hello, here for a ticket to the show? Yes, please. Who shows on right now? The bear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I need a ticket, please. Right then, just head inside the tent. Folks, I'm going to tell you a morality tale from when our country was young. But the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream. An old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on fish and meat and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for 60. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and mm. now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle. And he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. The turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy right. Possum That's said, enough of that. There's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two Shoes does Oh, was there a told. problem with the show? Bear was very sad. No. But he was a good bear, and he always did what Old Man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell. No problem. What a Beautiful day. Right. Let's head towards my car. 
Oh, where is it? Right, let's go see what Mike has got himself into. Hello. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> They better not be chasing me. I don't even know if I'm going the wrong way here. Probably because we're in their territory. Oh man. Yes, we need to get away. So we need to go help Micah, that's why. Ah. Oh, there's no getting away from it. Where's my gun? That was intense, man. Pay off your bounty at the post office. Oh man. Yeah. Okay then. You've unlocked the ability to drift with this horse. Hold X and use that to huh. yeah. yep. Oh, and hold. <laughs> oh, drift like that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, help me dodge bullets, that will. Yeah. Oh! Oh, 
Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Easy. Whoa, whoa. There, boy. There. Shh. Always rely on boy. There's something going on over there, let's have a look. I won't die to no wolf! <gasps> oh, oh, you there! Please help me! <laughs> oh. oh, come on! There we go, fine. <laughs> oh, thank God. That animal is a goddamn mess. <laughs> you say, oh. partner? Woo. I was almost a meal there. <laughs> and that's it. Go easy, boy. Easy, boy. <laughs> Micro is far away. Strawberry, here we are. My car, we're coming to get you. There he is, in jail. Sir, I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You hmm. can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. What? Let me out of here, you maggots! Locate and speak to Micah.
Mal geht der, ne? Oh, there he is. Mm -hmm. Arthur, hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? Mm. <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Mm. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard cowpoke. so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing. Find a way. Got any dynamite? Uh, don't think so. Mm. Oh, so I have. Step back a bit. <laughs> All right. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Let's get back. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Come on. I ran straight into the dynamo. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Should have known you were up to no good. They cannot get away with it. Get down. Uh, oh, You do it. Down, I can't do shit.
<laughs> my goodness. Uh, these more of these morons. <laughs> Oh! We're gonna shoot it out of here. Calm yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to see some. Skinny! Get out here! Skinny! It ain't skinny, Micah. It's Norman. You always was a letdown, you fat oh, sack shit. of crap. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. He is absolutely insane. Hello, Maddie. Did you miss me? Oh my god, Micah. They had something of mine. My guns. Oh my. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it this time. Yeah, you fucking ass. Oh. Come on, this way. Yeah? Who wants to see me? I'm sending that out. Can I see? <laughs> this is so cool! It's hard to shoot a red at the same time. Though. The one's still behind me. To ride and shoot. Oh, the bounty. Let's get out of here before we get any more on our tail. Mate, the bounty on my head. Good shooting, Morgan. I got to hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild, making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that feller? Skinny? Yeah, we ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. Uh, I saw how goddamn ended. He was gonna let me have. That's so I'm cool. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up half a town. <laughs> You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all the yeah, time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, <clears throat> you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... 
Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. Mm. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Offhand holster allows you to hold and shoot two sidearm weapons at once. Cool, 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 cool. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end that episode there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.